brain of its own and sends messages directly to the brain. It has the ability to process information emotionally, not logically. Are scientists finally realizing what the Bible has been saying? Their research was triggered by heart transplant patients who experienced emotions and beliefs that they had never felt before. Wow. I want that if my heart is transplanted to someone, that they feel my Christ-centered emotions. I want them to know and feel without a doubt my love, devotion, and trust for Jesus. That they can say, this heart that I have, this heart that I have, it came from someone who truly believed in Jesus and had faith. I would want for Jesus to be revealed to them by my heart. In Proverbs 4.23 it says, Keep your heart with diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. In other words, I'm guarding my heart. It's vulnerable to outside influences seen by my eyes. When we experience fear or love, we don't hold our brains, we clutch our hearts. Our heart is not simply an organ, but a repository of beliefs, not a depository. A repository is a place where things are collected and stored, and our mouths reveal what our hearts interpret. Our hearts are intentionally changed by revelation and not explanation. By knowing Jesus Christ, my, my heart has changed forever. I asked to speak about this message that was put on my heart. Not only did I want to hear it aloud for myself and bounce it off the walls of the church, but I had to share it with everyone here. The purity of my heart begins with a clean, submissive, joyful, and believing heart. I know my heart belongs and is held by Jesus, and I'm living my life for Jesus. You never know, someone could need my heart. <laughs>